What's going on everybody on YouTube? This is Very Artistic and today with this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google account if you have the Kyocera Hydro Wave for Metro BCS or T-Mobile or I believe some other uh, phones called Air with AT&T. Without any further ado, let's get started. Here's actually the problem that you have actually signed in for Google account then you hot reset the phone and you forgot what's your password for Gmail account so you're screwed or you purchased that phone from somebody had reset it send it to you and you get the same issues so here's the problems and you guys see another phone over here so may you guys be wondered why I do have this one because I'm gonna use this phone as a hotspot tool in order to get internet to this one actually if you have modem or you are close from your modem or stuff like that that would be great actually so and and then I have this hotspot toggles on this phone and I want to just go back you have to go back where actually uh, make sure to remove the sim card from your phone please do remove your sim card from the phone that would be actually better right now you have uh, to connect it and which is I'm connecting to the G4 over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next and once I see software updating I have to remove actually or the switch off the hotspot that's gonna do it together you gotta be accurate actually they will tell you it couldn't sign in you may get a need to try again it's uh, sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't so even for me sometimes it doesn't work that's gonna do it faster this time or leave it a little bit remove we'll see what's gonna happen now I have no hotspots connected to this one it did not work you have to connect again and you gotta try actually you gotta keep try we're gonna keep try actually there you go so once we get this actually this screen this is what we need actually so you got the name you got uh, everything now the phone is not connected to anything actually just hit next and they will ask you for the lock screen go ahead and put lock screen I'm gonna use pattern I'm gonna use it that way and then say continue do that again just uh, actually uh, don't forget whatever you did put pin any pin you want show all the notifications and say next now the phone back to this screen okay don't worry about it switch off your phone and restart your phone now I'm gonna tell you why you guys we need to do this actually we need to have the lock screen over here so this is how we are gonna be able to bypass the Google account through this uh, lock screen now technically you don't need any connection but make sure guys make sure to have the sim card removed from your phone okay so before you start okay now you guys gonna be able to see this just hit on this and then slide there you go you see there's something was over here actually I just hit it and then the slide and then there's settings you have just to do the, the the pattern that you just did and you have to scroll to backup and factory reset and factory reset and reset the phone and do the pattern again and erase everything and you're all set over there after that you guys should be able to bypass the Google account with no any problems now let's gonna just skip this part and come right back to you should we back that's gonna start and see what it's gonna does just want to try to skip I'm not connecting to anything right this moment I'm gonna just say skip skip it skip it
and since it starts skipping, uh, no Google account required this time. So later on, as you guys can see now, you're gonna be able to use your phone with no any issues. So please, please, guys, subscribe for the channel. I need your support. I need more likes on the channel. We do work hard to get this stuff done to you guys. And thank you so much uh, for watching. As always, I will catch you in my next one.